Hi, I'm David from Sticker It, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a cut line for your design in Adobe Illustrator. I'll assume you already have your design created and you just need help creating a cut line. If you struggle creating a cut line, don't worry, we can do it for you. You can just upload it online, but I'll show you how to do that later on in the video. Before we jump in, let's cover exactly what a cut line is. A cut line is a vector path around your design that tells us exactly where and how you want your sticker to be cut. Where you want your sticker to be cut is defined by the size and the shape of the path you draw in Illustrator. And I'll show you how to do this shortly. How you want your sticker cut is defined by the path name and its colour. There are two different types of cut line, a through cut and a kiss cut. A kiss cut will only cut through the top layer, leaving the backing paper intact. A through cut will cut through both the top layer and the backing paper. I'm going to show you how to create both. Let's dive in. Before we start making a cut line, we want to make sure your design is ready. You'll want to convert text to outlines by selecting any text in your design, right click and select Create Outlines. We also want to make sure your design is the correct size. You can see here I'm aiming for a 50mm wide sticker once I add a border. Once we're happy with the design, you can move on and start creating the cut line. Firstly, name your design and put it into a single layer. I've called mine Print. Duplicate this layer by holding Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac and dragging the layer down. Then rename this layer Through Cut. You can then lock the print layer as we don't want to edit this. You can also hide it if you wish. You'll then want to go and make sure the whole layer is selected, go to the Properties tab and unite into a single shape. At this point it's worth mentioning how to handle bitmap artwork. If you've created your design in Photoshop, it'll most likely be a bitmap. If your artwork is bitmap, you'll need to turn it into a vector shape to create the cut line from. It only needs to be the outline, so it's very simple. To do this, click Window at the top of the screen and select Image Trace. Turn on Preview and have a play with the settings. Once you're happy, click Expand in the Properties tab and now you'll have a vector shape. Remove a background if there is one, select All and Unite to have a single outline shape. Now we're at the same place as if we had vector artwork, so we'll go back to the original design. Now that we've got a single shape, you can use this to create an outline. To do this, select Object, Path, then Offset Path. 2mm works well, but have a play to see what you like best. You can use the preview to see your changes on the fly. Once you're happy, click OK. Then select everything again and unite to create a single shape. You then need to remove the fill and change the stroke to magenta one point. You can also remove any internal lines using the Direct Selection tool. If you'd like the cut line to be more rounded, a neat trick is to create another offset path outside of the cut line you've just created. Try going out another 2mm then come back in by 2mm and it'll smooth it for you. You can see here it gives very nice rounded corners and this sticker will peel and apply much better than the first outline you've just made. I wanted to quickly cover how to create cut lines for Kiss Cut stickers. You treat them the same as a through cut with one slight difference. Where you want your sticker or label only cut through the top layer and not the backing paper, make the line green and put it on a Kiss Cut layer like I've done here. In this design, the spaceman will peel away from the rest of the sticker, leaving a border with his website address. This is another scenario I wanted to mention. If, after you've created an offset path, you have two shapes that aren't touching, you'll need to join them together. To do this, simply use the pen tool to create a shape, select all and unite together to create one single shape. You can then use the curvature tool to make any edits you like. Watch me quickly do this for the two designs you see here. Once your design is ready to go, save your file and you can upload it as an AI file online. 
Add any instructions here, for example, adjusting parts of your cut line or asking us to create one if you've struggled. Within a few hours, you'll receive a proof of how your sticker will look once printed. You can request changes for free until you're totally happy. Within a few days, you'll receive your stickers. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Remember to subscribe for future tutorials, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.